Hi, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org, and today we're going to be taking a look at MS Removal Tool. Now, uh, MS Removal Tool is a fake uh, antivirus clone, if you couldn't already tell. And it's a direct clone of a few other security tool and system tool and the like. And basically, it's using the same uh, graphic user interface or GUI, except for it's simply named different. And the uh, file traces are actually in uh, different locations, too, as well. Now, the main thing that this client does, besides show false and exaggerated uh, warnings, is it... Uh, um, also blocks almost all programs from running so if you have an antivirus client it'll disable it and basically make it so you cannot run uh, users won't be able to bring up the task manager and a few other things uh, or any program really now what does work is uh, uh, Internet Explorer and Firefox and like those those usually work however those traces um, if you go to a particular website or so or do a Google search you may get redirected just depends and most people who are infected with the MS removal tool are also going to notice that uh, they they also are infected with other viruses too as well so after you actually remove this and we're going to show you exactly what you have to do to remove uh, MS removal tool for free on your computer but once you're done you're really gonna have to run a virus scan I can't stress that enough you have to run a virus scan when you're done just to ensure that you have no other programs installed on your system now the product I do recommend here is gonna be Spyro Doctor with antivirus if you actually download it from the remove virus .org website um, if you actually end up making a purchase of it we actually make money off that and I want to make that clear to everybody just because the uh, that that's what we do to help support our website and to help things uh, keep going. So, if you want to help out and actually purchase a client, great. Um, it, it, it's what I personally use on my computers too as well. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started here. And this is going to be for uh, Windows 7. It'll work the exact same on Windows Vista. Now, XP, it's going to be very very similar, and you can actually check the manual guide on the remove virus or website because I do plan on adding in a, an XP video there too as well so let's go ahead and get started now the first thing you have to do is actually stop the main executable that's causing this program to run once you stop it you will be able to then uh, get back on and, and run your antivirus scan or run your other programs too as well now there's a number of different ways on uh, Windows 7 for instance you can hold down as soon the very second you log into the computer you can hold down control shift escape and so what that'll do is it'll bring up the task manager now for most people it's going to be um, n not working so that it, but that's why you have to do it right when the very second you log in you'll be able to open this up before the MS removal tool pops up and be able to go through here and actually find the the MS removal tool trace in this case it's going to be this long funky looking name right here it's not going to make much sense if you look at it, it it is rather weird so what you can do is you can actually open the file location to it right away and it's going to show you where the exact file is and you'll also be able to terminate it by hitting end process and now all you have to do is just delete this so you right click delete right click delete now let's say you aren't able to bring up the task manager at all another quick thing to do is just to browse down to the actual directory itself now it's yours is not going to be named this it's going to be unique to your computer but all you have to do is browse down to the program data so if I were to go here and let's show you exactly how I'm doing that hit the window start button computer C drive we're gonna go into program data now program data if you look right here it's it's lightly shaded that means it's a hidden file or folder so you can go to start menu type in hidden show hidden files and folder right here just make sure that this is checked show hidden files and folders and drives just hit OK then you'll be able to see it or else um, another simple way just uh, go over to our guide copy the location there it is right there you're gonna get the same result boom so we're in there is so what we're looking for is a really funkified looking file uh, another good way to know to notice it is by the date modified today's so the 329 and 2011 so if you were actually organized it by date modified we got a few things here that modified on 329 I got this temp folder what's in there yeah just junk I can actually delete and the really weird looking one when I open it up see that icon right there 
that icon will change over time but that's uh, um, what it is currently and I can just go ahead and right click and delete now let's say you can't find uh, um, or, or um, if this program is still running like we have it right now if you actually try to delete it right now it won't delete because the program's running so is what you can do is you can right click on it and just hit rename 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 it to whatever you want now go ahead and rename this other file rename Ta -da. now if you reboot your computer reboot means turn it off turn it back on browse back into, into this directory and you'll be able to delete these files because they'll no longer be running when you change the name of that um, basically executable now it doesn't know what file it is that should start that program up so at that point in time you can run a full virus scan and uh, um, remove any leftover trace now you can also do this in uh, safe mode too as well. It's another great way to go. If you don't know how to go into safe mode, I'll just refer over to the removevirus.org website under our um, how-to guides. Um, if you actually purchase that false client, go ahead and hit under our great articles and advice section. We have a few articles in there to, um, informing you how to get your money back and just things to do on there. If you cannot remove this threat yourself, we do recommend onlinecomputerrepair.org. we got them listed here. And again, that's going to be onlinecomputerrepair.org. They can repair your computer. It's under 100 bucks, It's 99 or 89 um, I forget which, what they're charging right now. But it's a it's a really good service. I've used them, or I should say, I've been recommending them out for about three and a half years now, uh, just because it's 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 a solid company out of California. They do a really bang up job. If you have any questions or are having a lot of trouble, feel free and head over to the RemoveVirus.org website. Um, it's the only place where I personally answer questions. Otherwise, your question's not going to get answered. Um, don't bother emailing us or PMing us. It's not going to get answered. You have to ask your question on the general public, and we ask that you do that on the remove virus out our website now when you are done uh, in removing it we do strongly recommend that you run that virus scan using spyware doctor with antivirus and the whole purpose of that is to find out if you're infected with any other viruses if you're not great um, and then as far as having protection in the future you got infected with that virus because you were not properly protected so if you had something like Spyro Doctor with antivirus you wouldn't have gotten infected in the first place so that's what we really recommend you use going forward just because it's a great client and I know it works so you know take it for what it is I know some people out there no matter what you tell them they'll never go and get a, a, a pay for an antivirus client even though you really should it's the best way to go that way uh, you actually get full upfront protection instead of that passive protection that just doesn't really protect your computer. And that's all you really have to do to remove an uh, um, MS removal tool. It's not all too, too hard. You don't have to make it harder than what it is. And uh, feel free, and if you have questions, first thing to do is to read the full manual guide because I, I, I list, I know I talk fast, but I list all the goodies in this guide for you. I hold nothing back. It tells you the exact steps you need to take to remove it. Um, it will work for you, or at least should work for you. And best of all, that's where you can ask all your questions, too. And uh, again, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org. I hope it helped. And if we did help you, real quick, hey, hit that like button for us. You know, it, it just helps to have all, all the recognition we can out there. Thanks. Take care.